Bed bugs will be swarming us in a few days. A local university is doing something very specific to make sure campus keeps running when Brood 10 emerges. Local 12's Tessa DiTiro joins us live now from Oxford. Uh, Tessa, all right, what are they doing there to protect the university there in Miami? <laughs> Well, hey, Adam. So this is a water tower here at Miami, and the facility staff is putting this up. They're putting these nets up all around campus today because 17 years ago, there was some issues here at the water tower. Apparently, the cicadas, they really like the humming noise that comes from this tower. So they got inside here into the water area and clogged things up. So they're putting up these nets to keep them out. Miami facilities crews are busy hanging protective nets around campus today. Last time it happened, we did experience you know, mechanical failures of equipment. And uh, um, even though we tried to anticipate what those might be, I don't think we were as proactive then as, as we are today. The nets are a new idea to keep out the cicadas. Powell says his staff will still have their hands full, clearing some of the pesky insects out of equipment. To keep the equipment running, we, we have to staff people around the clock and every couple hours we change the strainer baskets and, and discard the, the cicadas. All the nets needed went up today. And according to biology professor Yoshi Tamayasu, that's a good thing. My guess is on Thursday, although it's getting warmer today, so it can happen as soon as tonight. He's already finding cicadas and studying them around campus. This is his first time seeing the insects in the U.S. The protective measures that go along with the bugs is something he did not expect. That's something I did not think about it. You know, I was so excited about this event. I did not think about the damage it could cause. So other than protecting the water tower here, the university is also netting off AC units and some of the younger trees that are on campus. Live at Miami, Tessa Tiro, Local 12 News. Well, Back to you, Adam. Well, hang on, Tessa. I can't let you go just yet. Have you seen any cicadas <laughs> today? Yes, actually here in Oxford we did. We saw a couple in the grass and a couple on the trees. So that was kind of fun. I haven't seen any in Cincinnati yet, so it was fun to see them out here. All right. Well, Tessa has seen them. We that's just Megan and me are just waiting. <laughs> Only to, a matter of time. Waiting for the magic. All right, Tessa, thank you very much. Now ground staff also is on standby to clean up lots of cicada shells that will be left behind. Other news now, man's dad.